YouTube channel, Biosal Fish Academy. Don't forget to subscribe and to turn on the notification bell so as to keep updating you on subjects relating to aquaculture. I'll be taking you on RAS, Recyclatory Aquacultural System. Presently, we are at one of the recyclatory aquacultural system presently in Adama State, northeastern Nigeria. Actually, we have about three units in which the water must pass through before it finally gets into the cultural system or units for the fish to use. We have the sedimentation tank, we have the UV light, we have our bio tower, and we have our incubation tank. Now, the, the sedimentation tank is where the uneaten feed settles, is where the physics of the fishes settles. In this sedimentation tank, the uneaten feed and the physics of the fish are being trapped in the sedimentation tank. As we can see, in this sedimentation tank, we have a lot of filters. And basically, the works of this filter is to filter out depths from the water, is to filter out physics from the water before releasing it into the UV light. The UV light, with the aid of a submerged pump in the water, draw the water from this unit and it's passed through the UV light and the basic function of the UV light is to trap bacteria. At the end of the day, when our water finally gets to the bio tower, we are sure that the water at the bio tower is free from bacteria. And the importance or the, the advantage of having a bio tower is that it helps in degasting. What is degasting? It means that the carbon, the carbon dioxide present in your water that sometimes make your fish to be sluggish, not to eat adequately, are being exchanged, are being converted in the bio tower to oxygen. Therefore, we are sure that the final water that will get into the incubation unit is free from bacteria, is free from death, is free from carbon dioxide, is highly oxygenated, and therefore making it suitable for our fries, our fingerlings to live healthy and to feed well. So one of the advantages of having a recyclatory unit is that it helps you to maximize water to its full potential. Another use or advantage of a recyclatory unit is that it helps you to have more carrying capacity because you are sure of having highly oxygenated water 24-7. But as you know, in every advantage, there is disadvantage. One of the disadvantages of of a recirculatory unit is that it needs power supply. There should be a 24-7 power supply. But in this farm, they have solar panels that helps them to maintain the supply of power even when NEPA is not available. With this, we have come to the end of today's class on recirculatory agricultural system. Please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and also turn on the notification bell so that we'll keep updating you on subject matters relating to agriculture. Until you succeed, we will not stop. Thank you.